for today's weekend watercolour we're going to be doing one of my favourite types of art which is monotone that means using one colour now as we normally do with weekend watercolour we're not going to have a plan so firstly you can choose whatever colour you like but I would suggest it's a dark colour I'm going to be using dioxazine purple which is the darkest purple within my Windsor and Newton Cotman range and I start by watering it down because I'm starting by adding a light tone and that's because it's the background, it's the sky. So I've mixed as much water as possible. I would suggest that you have a swatch card to hand so that you can start testing that each colour is darker than the other. <clears throat> Please remember that as you add your tones, the water or the paint dries lighter. So that was my first layer. And you might look at it and think, well, it doesn't look like I've added anything. But when you take the tape off, you will notice a light shade on your paper. Now, in between layers, you may want to use a hairdryer to dry your work because you may not want to wait. Or, as it's the weekend, you may have things to do. So you may want to leave your work to dry in between. <clears throat> so I've added a bit more of the dioxazine purple. As I said, you could use any colour that you like. And I am now adding a bit more of that to make sure that it's darker than my first shade. If you want to learn more about monotone painting or painting in one colour, please click on the card above and it will take you to a clip where I have painted a portrait using one colour. The main thing is that you are experimenting with tones or values so that you are making an image using different tones. So I'm now adding the next layer. I am echoing the outline of the mountains you could do buildings you can do any kind of landscape that you want as I've said before this is art without a plan so you do whatever you like the most important thing is with this landscape the layers as they are coming towards you from the distance so we're now working from the background to the midground we are getting darker okay so I've brought that layer down to the middle and then I'm adding some water so that I'm graduating that tone downwards. The reason for that is I'm trying to give the illusion of a misty mountain landscape. So I'm mixing the water so that I am making a wash all the way down to the bottom. So my second layer is dry. Again, I chose to dry it with the hair dryer because I'm a bit impatient. I want to move on. And I'm now testing the next layer of dioxazine purple on my tester card. And again, I am drawing a random mountain skyline. <clears throat> again, if you chose to do buildings, like a building skyline, or you could do trees or whatever you choose. So now I am painting the next layer and again, I am painting the outline. I'm putting some initial areas on first with my next darker layer and then I will get the water and I will put the graduated tone or gradient going down to the next layer so that it's giving the illusion of a misty morning mountain scape.
now that the third layer is dry, I need to mix more purple into my mix to make my third layer of mountains even darker. And I would carry on with the same process in that I will draw my outline first with a size two brush. And then I will add the dark purple in. As you can see, it is significantly darker. So I will definitely have to be careful when I'm adding that water. But I want to make sure that it is quite a bit darker because obviously we're moving towards the foreground now so we need to give that illusion of the mountains getting darker however i will have one more layer to add and that will be a forest landscape in the front in the foreground so i don't want it to be completely dark so i'm just going to add another layer of water just to dilute it down a little bit and i will leave that to dry before adding the next layer so now that the third layer is dry i am adding a forest landscape and for this i will add the areas with the main brush with the silver brush that i've been using so far and i've got a smaller detail brush it's a flat brush that i'm going to use to pick out the details of the trees also when i'm adding this paint i am adding it directly from the pan so that i can get the darkest mix possible now after this, when I've added all of these trees, what I'll do is I'll also go on to paint some birds in the sky so that it gives it a bit more depth. And again, those I will pick out with a small flat brush and I will make the paint directly from the pan. Um, when I'm painting those birds, you'll notice that I have them slightly different sizes and also different angles. That is important. So If you enjoyed this clip then make sure you check out more clips like this in the weekend watercolour playlist or join me next Saturday for the next weekend watercolour. Don't forget to look in the description below for details of products used in today's clip and if you have any ideas for content or questions leave a comment below. Finally don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content. <laughs>